The Word of God makes us understand that beyond every sickness, disease, and terminal disease is the spirit of infirmity. And the spirit of infirmity is a demon of the devil whom he uses to afflict the children of God with various kinds of infirmities. I truly believe that we are entitled to perfect health and wellness. No matter how small your faith is, with prayer, healing can be yours. Jesus said in Matthew 17 verse 20, If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. In times of sickness, God invites you to call on Him for healing, whether healing of the mind, the body, the spirit, or a broken heart. Healing was made available to Jesus Christ, to anyone who will believe. And today healing can be yours, but only if you believe. Healing starts and ends with faith. Jesus said in Mark 9 verse 23, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. If you are going to see God's healing power manifest in your body, you must believe and exercise your faith. Jesus said in Luke 18 verse 1 that men are to always pray and not faint. One of the surest and fastest ways to receive healing is in consistent prayer. Without prayer, the devil can easily manipulate our health and situations around us, but it takes prayer to help us keep him away. Jesus said in Mark 11 verse 25 that when we stand praying, we must forgive. Forgiveness is important because when we refuse to forgive, your Heavenly Father will not forgive us and therefore our prayers will not be answered. When you begin to engage the Word in prayer for your healing, your strength will be renewed and you will begin to see new hope that you will surely be healed. Jeremiah 17 verse 14 says, Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. Jeremiah 33 verse 6 Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people, and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Isaiah 53 verse 5 But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Psalms 103 verse 2 to 4 Praise the Lord my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. 3 John 1 verse 2 Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. Proverbs 17 verse 22 A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Matthew 10 verse 8 Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons, freely you have received freely give. Deuteronomy 7 verse 15 The Lord will keep you free from every disease. He will not inflict on you the horrible disease you knew in Egypt, but He will inflict them on all who hate you. 1 Peter 4 verse 24 He Himself bore our sins in His body on the cross, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By His wounds you have been healed. Isaiah 41 verse 10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Psalm 30 verse 2 Lord my God, I call to you for help, and you healed me. Matthew 11 verse 28 Come to me. All you who are weary and burdened, 
I will give you rest. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for all you have done in my life all these years in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for the gift of life and for your mighty hand over my life all these years in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for keeping me alive despite this cancer in Jesus' name. Father, I plead for forgiveness for all my sins and sincerely repent of all of them in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask for forgiveness for any sins I have committed that has caused me this cancer. And Father, heal me completely tonight in Jesus' name. Father, I declare that I shall not die of this cancer, but live to declare your works and your glory in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I declare that my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, and so cancer has no place in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, I come against every spirit of infirmity called cancer in my life by the blood of the covenant in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, by the blood of Jesus, I declare that I am healed and delivered from the grip of cancer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, stretch forth your hand and heal me of this cancer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, send your word of healing into my bones and heal me of this cancer in Jesus' name. Father, by your word of healing, I am healed of this cancer and restored back to life in the name of Jesus. Father, by your mighty power, I subdue the disease called cancer and I come out of it stronger and better in the name of Jesus. Father, let the blood of Jesus purge me of every trace of cancer found in my system, in Jesus' name. Father, by the blood of my redemption, I am totally healed of every sickness in my system, in Jesus' name. Father, by your word, I decree that every genetic disease running in my family is declared null and void, in Jesus' name. Father, any genetic disease taking place in my life is scattered by the blood of the Lamb in Jesus' name. Father, by your word, I cancel every form of family cancer speaking in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, because I belong to the household of God where sickness is not permitted, I therefore decree that I am not a candidate for cancer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, send your word to heal me of this cancer and deliver me in Jesus' name. Father, let every trace of inherited cancer found in my system be consumed by fire tonight in Jesus' name. Father, I disengage myself from every form of cancer running in my foundation in Jesus' name. Father, because I am of your foundation, therefore I cannot suffer the cancer issue of my physical foundation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you are the balm of Gilead and restore of my health. I therefore decree that the balm of Gilead has healed me of this cancer in the name of Jesus. Father, because of my life is heading with Christ in God, therefore no cancer can penetrate my life in the name of Jesus. Father, the balm of Gilead lives in me and I in him. Therefore my health is made whole and restored back to normal in Jesus' name. Father, as you healed Naaman of leprosy by immersion in water, immerse me in the pool of the blood of Jesus and heal me of this cancer tonight in Jesus' name. Father, I come against every agent of the devil speaking this cancer into my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume every cancer from the pit of hell, destroying my life in Jesus' name. Father, let every strong man or woman projecting this cancer into me fall and die suddenly in Jesus' name. Father, I nullify every plan of the devil and his agent to use this cancer disease to derail my destiny in life in the name of Jesus. Father, scattered every gathering of the agents of darkness afflicting me with cancer in Jesus' name. Father, release your consuming fire upon every witchcraft gathering using cancer to torment my life and destiny in the name of Jesus. Father, let every witchcraft convent where this cancer was projected into me be consumed and burnt down by the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, every mechanism the devil is using to scatter the glory of God in my life, I shatter it by the fire of God in Jesus' name. 
Father, because I am covered by the blood of Jesus, no cancer from the pit of hell can reach and torment me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, by the blood of Jesus, I neutralize whatever I ate in the dream that has caused me this cancer, and I am made whole again in the name of Jesus. Father, by your mighty power, I neutralize every demonic injection in the dream that caused me this cancer, and I declare my healing right now in the name of Jesus. Father, let the judgment fire of God burn every hand that is feeding me with the foot of cancer in my dream in the name of Jesus. Father, by your mighty power, I am released from every shackles of sickness and disease of the devil in Jesus' name. Father, release me from every stronghold of the devil holding me down with cancer by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Father, release your wrath upon every agent of the devil devouring me with cancer in Jesus' name. Father, by the word of your covenant, Rise in your wrath and rebuke the devourer of my health for my sake in Jesus' name. Father, because I am the apple of your eye, rebuke every agent carrier of cancer of the devil in my life and destiny in Jesus' name. Father, because I am your child, anyone who hurts me is your enemy. Therefore, everyone hurting me with cancer is hereby broken into pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let the healing power in your word be shot into my bones and heal me of all cancer in Jesus' name. Father, stretch forth your healing hands into my life and spirit. Let every manner of cancer in me be healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I am of the tribe of Lion of Judah that is feared and dreaded by the devil and his agents. Therefore, I am under that banner where sickness and disease can hold me down and torment me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare that this cancer shall be your glory and shall return a testimony to your glory in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, thank you for answered prayers and for healing me and restoring me back to health from that cancer. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, I pray. Amen.